Right now, the um, O-arm is in position to take a fluoroscopic picture of the L45 disc space. And even though you're using navigation, uh, there may be a time when you want to take a, a fluoroscopic picture to confirm uh, placement of the implant. The patient is positioned with the left side up, and uh, we're using the navigated dilator to determine the uh, precise location for the incision. So we're going to come through the fascia into the retroperitoneal space and then use our uh, navigated dilator to find the front of the psoas muscle. We've uh, dissected into the uh, front of the uh, psoas here into the retroperitoneal space, and now we're going to put our navigated dilator um, through the very anterior slips of the psoas muscle. Uh, the difference between an O-lip and a D-lip is that uh, because they're so anterior, the risk of uh, irritating or coming uh, close to the femoral nerve is uh, pretty small. Uh, so at this point of the case, we're going to go ahead and drape the O-arm. So we're going to go ahead and just put the perk pin in now. You can see this cap that inserts the pin, it has an arrow. So uh, you always have to consider the line of sight. The camera is at the uh, foot of the bed. And so generally we want this facing the camera and even turned up uh, a bit of a, at a 45 degree angle. Okay, you can see our reference frame is in place. This is gonna give us a direct line of sight with the camera. And we're gonna place the camera at the foot of the bed. We're using our triggered EMG. Uh, our thresholds are around 20, so we know we're not irritating the femoral nerve. So uh, we're just about ready to do the discectomy here. I've taken out all the dilators except for the first navigated dilator. And we're uh, demonstrating the sure track process here. Uh, at this point in time, we have the ability to navigate the uh, trials and the final implant. So we've done our uh, discectomy to the point that I'm comfortable to put our first trial in. So as you see, this is uh, fully navigated, so we'll be able to put the trial in and position it uh, in the sagittal plane where we want it. This is a peak uh, Clydesdale cage, and uh, here's our stereotactic inserter. And so we're gonna put this in and uh, watch uh, navigation and try to steer it into the anterior portion of the disc base. Uh, we have an exact CAD model of the implant on navigation screen. So we're gonna start inserting this and uh, performing the orthogonal maneuver. Um, in general, if you're using uh, a um, navigation approach for a multiple level inner body approach, uh, we tend to work from cranial to caudal working towards the uh, reference frame. And I think that enhan enhances accuracy. So we're inserting our last dilator here. Again, we're starting off with our triggered probe pushers, which is the direction of the lumbar plexus. And we're gonna go ahead and stimulate a full 360 degrees. And this just shows you that from an oblique uh, trajectory, we can actually decompress uh, disc material in the ipsilateral half of the disc base. I've gone through and checked all of my screws. I feel that they're all accurate. And uh, people talk about the uh, cost of an image-guided system and, and the O-arm. And what we're seeing here is a demonstration of the value. 